got some really bad news for Earnhardt fans today. Well, Jeffrey Earnhardt fans, to, to be specific. How's it going, y'all? My name is Eric, and welcome back to Out of the Groove, the NASCAR show where multiple times a week I talk about the hottest news stories around America's favorite motorsport, and we've got a spicy one today. I didn't expect to make this video. It was very impromptu. Woke up this morning, saw a couple tweets, and I got my head spinning, took some notes, and now we're making a video. <laughs> my work process is very stream of consciousness, and that's kind of how this episode's going to be as well. Uh, but we have to talk about a really crazy sponsorship situation going on with Toyota, with Joe Gibbs Racing, and more specifically, with Jeffrey Earnhardt. We're going to talk about all that, uh, but first we got a couple other small things to discuss. I know we're going to talk about some bad sponsorship news, but also report today Brad Keselowski, Team Penske, and Discount Tire uh, announced an extension. Uh, Discount Tire next year is going to go from sponsoring 10 races on the 2 to 15. So anytime a big company is increasing their sponsorship in NASCAR, always good to see, so shout out Discount Tire. And also I just want to mention this one quickly from a couple days ago actually, but NASCAR is not going to be penalizing anyone for the several retaliations we saw at Watkins Glen. I don't think anyone is really concerned about this, but I did see some comments and some people on social media asking about whether, you know, Kyle Busch or Bubba Wallace or William Byron, any of them are going to face any sort of penalties. No, and the answer is no. Typically, even if it's intentional, if you spin a guy out under green racing for position, typically NASCAR turns the other way and ignores it. It's when you wreck people under caution, if you wreck people aggressively, like what Kenseth did to Logano in 2015, where he slammed, uh, where he slammed the 22 into the wall, usually that results in a suspension, unless your name is Jeff Gordon, but again, I'm not going to bring that up for the 30th millionth time. But no, NASCAR confirmed a couple days ago that there will not be any penalties for any of those drivers you know Kyle Busch brake checking William Byron or Bubba spinning Kyle Busch no penalties so let's just leave it at that uh, it's gonna be exciting though to see you know with some of this drama that was bubbling up last weekend how that's gonna uh, go forward anyway I got those quick little stories out of the way today I mainly want to talk about the breaking news this morning about Jeffrey Earnhardt Joe Gibbs Racing and IK9. So in case you missed it, earlier today, Jeffrey Earnhardt on Twitter announced that he and sponsor IK9 were no longer working together. His tweet read, just wanted to let y'all know that IK9 and I have parted ways and wanted to thank them for the opportunity to race with Joe Gibbs Racing and Toyota Racing. Wish them the best in their future. This came as a shock to a lot of fans on social media. Jeffrey Earnhardt, cousin of Dale Earnhardt Jr., grandson of the great Dale Earnhardt. Having the name Earnhardt has definitely brought him quite a bit of attention, uh, especially in recent years with Dale Earnhardt Jr. now retiring and Jeffrey Earnhardt in the offseason getting this great opportunity with Joe Gibbs Racing and good Xfinity equipment. Uh, Jeffrey Earnhardt's been on the news. It's been talked about a lot more this year. So to hear this sudden breaking announcement, uh, kind of surprising, I think, for a lot of Earnhardt fans and just hardcore NASCAR fans. Now, this is surprising, too, because if you look on Jeffrey Earnhardt's Twitter feed just a few days ago, he was still retweeting IK9 posts the way, you know, you do when you're sponsored by somebody. Now, he still might have known that they were going to split up several weeks ago or something, but contract obligations forced him to retweet and everything. That could have been what it is, but still, I thought that was very interesting that a few days ago, he was still interacting with the brand on social media. Now, immediately after Jeffrey Earnhardt made this announcement, there was a ton of fan backlash towards IK9. A lot of people blamed them for the split, assuming that IK9 basically gave up on Jeffrey Earnhardt and decided they didn't want to sponsor him anymore. And it got so bad, apparently, that IK9 actually decided to tweet out a response that shed some more possible light on this whole situation. IK9's official account tweeted, Jeffrey canceled his contract with us. Please direct your frustration to his page. And it was after this tweet that I knew I had to make a video about this today because now this situation, the, the plot continues to twist and turn every direction imaginable. So some fans are still out there bashing IK9. I personally think that's a very bad look for NASCAR fans. I mean, IK9 basically gave Jeffrey Earnhardt the most relevant six months he's had in his NASCAR career. I think to bash them immediately after this is not a good look for NASCAR fans. I'd say wait for more information to come out before we start storming the castle. Uh, it sounds to me like maybe there's a lot more to this situation than we originally thought. Maybe it really was was more of a Jeffrey Earnhardt decision than an IK9. Now let's run this back to the very beginning, the very beginning of the IK9 relationship with Jeffrey Earnhardt and his whole relationship with Toyota. Let's go all the way back to November of 2018. At the end of 2018, it was announced that Jeffrey Earnhardt would make nine Xfinity starts for Joe Gibbs Racing this season with Extreme Concepts, the parent company of IK9, as the primary sponsor. And then in February, right before the start of the 2019 season, it was then announced that Extreme Concepts was forming their own race team and it was going to be a line with Joe Gibbs Racing and that Jeffrey was going to make some starts for them, not just in the Xfinity Series this year, but also a start in the Cup Series. At the time, here is what Extreme Concepts founder Landon Ash had to say about the whole situation. He said, we are taking a very deliberate and methodical approach to becoming a NASCAR team. Our ultimate goal is to become a full-time team. We'll take what we learned this season and apply it to next season. We plan to grow incrementally and our alliance with JGR will be key to this progression. 
my next door neighbor is doing his lawn. Can you guys hear that? So that was all before the season even started. Jeffrey Earnhardt had a bunch of races in the Xfinity Series lined up with JGR and others lined up with the JGR affiliate. So things were looking great for Jeffrey Earnhardt. They ended up making their first Cup Series start at Talladega earlier this year, finished 22nd. Now Earnhardt has made seven Xfinity starts so far this year, five of them with JGR, two with Extreme Concepts. He finished eighth at Texas, 16th at Chicago with Extreme Concepts, and his uh, JGR highlights a third at Charlotte, and he also led 29 laps in the season opener at Daytona. So he's gotten a lot more screen time this year than, uh, than we're used to seeing. However, the first sign that maybe there was an issue with this partnership came a month ago uh, during the July race at Daytona. Just before the Xfinity Daytona race, Jeffrey Earnhardt and Extreme Concepts withdrew from the event. Earnhardt then tweeted this whole thing saying, you know, he was looking forward to getting back in the car soon. Some fans, and I can't really blame him too much here, started to speculate on social media and everywhere uh, that this was maybe kind of like a DC Solar situation. DC Solar signed on with Ross Chastain and Chip Ganassi, then ended up going bankrupt, so that screwed Chastain out of a ride. A lot of people wondered if maybe there's some shady behind the scenes stuff with Extreme Concepts, IK9, and that was the issue here. That was, that was what some fans were starting to speculate, and there was enough speculation that IK9 tweeted this out. They publicly responded saying, we now and always will stand behind Jeffrey Earnhardt. But now fast forward a month and Jeffrey Earnhardt and IK9 Extreme Concepts are no more. That relationship is gone. And now, unfortunately, that means Jeffrey Earnhardt is also out of a ride at JGR. Right now, Jeffrey Earnhardt does not have another ride set up for 2019 in any of NASCAR's top series. Talking about IK9's future, they're still a sponsor with Joe Gibbs Racing. They still have a deal to sponsor races for Kyle Busch, Denny Hamlin, Brandon Jones in the Xfinity Series. And we've seen them around Toyota this year as well. They've seen them on Haley Deegan's Arca Series car. Now, Jeffrey Earnhardt was supposed to drive the 18 car this weekend at Mid-Ohio, uh, but with this announcement, Joe Gibbs has already revealed that Jack Hawksworth, an English driver, is going to be driving in the 18 instead. And that's all the information we have as of this evening, August 7th. Uh, Jeffrey Earnhardt has not made any more public statements. IK9 has not shed any more light on this situation. It's kind of a he, shed, he said, she said type of deal. Whether or not it really was Jeffrey Earnhardt's decision to end this agreement and their contract, or was it IK9's and this is them trying to cover themselves up, I don't know. It's not good that we've seen so many motorsports sponsors kind of tied into drama in recent months, starting with the DC Solar News. That was obviously the big one. Uh, but now with IK9 and even in Formula One, what's the whole deal with Rich Energy? I haven't looked into it too much, but I know they pulled their sponsorship from the Haas F1 team, which is the American Formula 1 team, so that's uh, that's a whole deal. I don't know the details there, but that's also some kind of shady, just weird business. And it's not good that so many American motorsport sponsors are kind of not, not, not kind of going well. I don't really know how to word it because we don't know the entire situation here. We don't know why Extreme Concepts and Jeffrey Earnhardt split up, at least not yet. Hopefully we find out sometime soon because I think fans deserve to know because this just seems... It's just come out of left field. You look at Earnhardt this year, he's led laps. He said that he wants to be racing. He's excited to race. So I can't imagine this is a whole like retirement situation or something for him. Now, Joe Gibbs Racing has had some weird driver situations in recent history. Carl Edwards out of nowhere retired in 2016 while he was still in his prime. There's a lot of possible reasons for this split, but I guess we'll never really know unless someone tells us. Until then though, we can have some fun speculating. Uh, and I have one pretty big speculation here as to what happened. I think this has something to do with Christopher Bell and his future. That's right. Remember, Christopher Bell already has a deal signed with Joe Gibbs Racing for next year, but he doesn't know if it's an Xfinity deal, if it's a Cup Series deal, which team he's even going to be on. It could be Joe Gibbs Racing. It could be a Joe Gibbs Racing affiliate, like Levine Family Racing, or, and a lot of us have forgotten about this, or Extreme Concepts Racing. That's right. They made a Cup Series start this year and have said publicly that they plan on going full-time eventually, probably not next year, but eventually. What if Christopher Christopher Bell is the wrench in this whole situation. What if Joe Gibbs wants to put Christopher Bell in the number 81 car in the Cup Series next year for Extreme Concepts? What if that's what's happening here? What if Jeffrey Earnhardt saw that and thought, no, I don't want any part of this shady business. I'm out of here. If you guys are going to kick me to the curb for Christopher Bell, I don't want any part of this. Let's just end our relationship now. Maybe that's what's happening. I've gone completely off the rails, I know. And also my next door neighbor is mowing his lawn. I don't know if you guys can hear that through the thin walls we have here. That's my speculation. I think somehow, someway, Christopher Bell fits into this equation. I don't know. I obviously have no insider information on this, but that's my speculation. We'll find out. We'll find out. We'll know. We'll see. I think IK9 is going to stick around, uh, but who's going to be there? Who's the driver going to be? I don't know. I think Christopher Bells has something to do with it, but we'll see. Hopefully Jeffrey Earnhardt sheds some light on the situation, uh, but yeah, that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Feel free to speculate along in the comments uh, with me. Don't be like hateful. That's what I saw. I saw a lot of people hateful towards IK9 saying that they gave up on him, saying that they were a terrible company, awful brand, and I'm like, 
Guys, that's that's unfair. Especially given that we don't know all the facts right now. That's very unfair and it doesn't look good. If you're an outside sponsor wanting to get into NASCAR and you see this nastiness on social media, might make you stop and think for a minute before you get into NASCAR. And we don't want that. We want NASCAR fans to be welcoming to new sponsors and uh, and we should we should you know act that way, I guess. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Remember to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, all that great stuff. Big thank you to my Patreon supporters, Michael Harrison, at you as the stars, mentally defective, Cameron James, John Coblenz, Jason R. Long, Wesley Donaldson, Isaac Dennison, Mika Suzuki, iFanSeries.com, the RacingInsiders.com, Matthew Kulopoulos, Pepe Luscious, Jeremy Conkley, Emilio Garcia, Joey DiMicino, Sky Racing Forms, and the rest of these incredible Patreon supporters. That is a mouthful, but I really love saying all those names because those are some amazing supporters right there. Thank you guys so much for supporting the show. I couldn't do this without you. I really appreciate you guys going above and beyond to support what we're doing over here. This episode is kind of impromptu. I probably will have another episode up Friday. Uh, not sure exactly yet. If there's any huge news that comes out in the next couple days, I'll definitely be here to talk about it with you guys. Uh, but in the meantime, hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And if I don't see you, I'll see you this week and hopefully after Michigan. So uh, have a good race to Vera Wednesday, and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye, everyone.